I find it very disappointing that you're not discussing the fact that 93 percent of blacks in America are killed by other blacks. We're talking about the exception here. Well, look, the, first the, of the all, go ahead, Michael. No, but just, this is about a just just trust issue. We are, talking, well, we, are, we are talking about the significant exception. 93% of blacks are killed by let me, other let me blacks. Tell you, let, me, let me respond to that. Like to see, I would like to see the attention. I'd like to see the attention paid to that that you are paying to this and the solutions to that. Okay, first of all, go most ahead. black people who commit crimes against other black people go to jail. Number two, they are not sworn by the police department as a uh, agent of the state to uphold the law. So in both both cases, that's a false equivalency that the mayor has drawn, which is exacerbated it's tensions that are deeply embedded in American it's culture. Reason, black people reason. who kill Mr. black mayor, people me, go to let let black Jackson people finish. who kill it, black people it, go it, to jail. It, White it people hardly... who are policemen who kill black people do not go to jail. All right. I want to also play this young woman uh, from the other night when things were really rough in the streets in Charlotte. Here she is. Guess what? I could be at work, you at in school, in my car. I can still get shot by the police. I can get shot anywhere. This woman obviously so upset, and she, you know, her fear is is genuine. She says that she believes that wherever she is, she could get shot. So it's no more dangerous for her to be in the middle of that crowd. You know, how do you res how do you respond to that? Well, her fear isn't real. It's based on emotion, and it's not based on anything uh, factual that she'd be able to articulate. It's just out of control behavior. I'll tell you what she faces danger. Um, and, and where, where she faces danger. It's being on the street in any American ghetto where the black on black crime is a bigger threat and a bigger problem in the black community than the police use of force. So the fact that they continue to focus on this aberration that is the police use of force, it's an aberration. Okay? They have more fear of that than. Uh, you know, coming across a gang member or being caught in a crossfire like Dwayne Wade's niece was in the city of Chicago, pushing a baby stroller down the street, for heaven's sakes, with a baby in it, and she took shots to the head from two black um, longtime career criminals. And so that's why I said it's not based on anything real. It's based on emotion. And if they really took a look at what was going on around them, what they'd be railing against is not the police and the police use of force, the police are down there to protect good law-abiding black people, to, to protect and serve. But their biggest threat are criminal gangs and it's other black males who are involved in this crime and violence and numbers that are saying. disproportionate to their uh, uh, representation in the population. But, yeah. of course, emotions driving this thing, not reality. Right. New details now on the controversy over North Miami Beach police using real mug shots during sniper target practice. Tonight, the department is answering accusations of racism as outraged families are speaking out about this. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at the police station with more. Peter. Family members and Florida's Democratic Black Caucus are calling on all law enforcement agencies in Miami-Dade to review their firearms training, particularly ones using mug shots like these right here for target practice. Now, the police chief at North Miami Beach is already announcing changes after what happened to Woody Deann. I am a husband. I am a father. I am a hardworking man. Woody Deant says he's horrified his mugshot was used as target practice by North Miami Beach police snipers. I do not deserve to be a target for sport as a training exercise or for any reason or neither does anyone else. Deant served time after his arrest following a drag race on Biscayne Boulevard that took two lives. I am not a mugshot. I'm not the tragic mistakes I made 14 years ago that cost the lives of my friends in my clean record, in my freedom. Dion's sister Valerie, a National Guard sergeant, discovered her brother's mugshot last month during training at this medley center. Since then, my life has completely changed because I'm in fear for my brother's life, my brother's safety in the streets where we reside. Police had defended the use of photos, saying they're vital for facial recognition drills. The Florida Democratic Hello, Black Caucus and Deant's attorney say commercially produced targets like this one are a much better option than the mugshots of African American and Hispanic men. As we look at this practice and we see a citizen with a bullet through their head, a bullet through their eye, 
we must have answers. The North Miami Beach police chief said his two-man sniper team is comprised of minorities and says the team picked the mugshots for practice. That will not happen again. Chief J. Scott Dennis says the new procedure will be that no one will be shooting photographic images in the future. He says he also hopes this incident will not set back progress as departments made with community relations. Now, police have said no policies were violated and no officers will be disciplined, but any items such as these targets using mug shots will be destroyed and the police chief says the department will be more sensitive to the community. Meanwhile, the attorney for Deant says he's considering a lawsuit. We're live in Medley, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Elliot. Peter, thanks a lot. We're